On about April 21st at approximately 9.30 a.m., we were shopping in Walmart with my parents. Uh, my children and I had, had gone, and we were, we were cruising around looking for things to buy, food mostly, some clothes, this and that. When this gentleman, whose I'm, picture I'm going to show right now, started stalking my youngest daughter. According to her, he had his shorts pulled up so tight that uh, the outline of his genitals could be seen. And a little while later, he showed her those genitals. My daughter, of course, took off running, looking for, looking for me or my dad or my, my mother. And then this gentleman was kind enough to find my mother and then expose his genitals to her as well. Now, April 21st was quite a while ago, well over a month. And the Bullhead City Police Department didn't quite take this very seriously at first. Uh, Walmart definitely didn't want to uh, take it seriously they they weren't they didn't even want to call the police and then they turned around and blamed us for not calling the police and making a complaint well we did we called the police later and we we made a complaint and they were able to pull this guy's image up as you see here he's coming into the Walmart at the uh, at the south entrance well I'm pleased to know to note that they have this dirt bag in custody. He's now being fitted with custom jewelry as well as probably being fitted for a brightly colored jumpsuit of bright orange or maybe pink or whatever or whatever it is they use over here at the county jail in Fort Mojave. But the reason they have him is because he did it again. He was allowed to go out and do it again. Somebody else was exposed to this fucking pervert. I don't particularly like to use foul language when I'm using when I'm making videos or broadcasting. But this guy is an asshole. I'm really sick and tired of sexual perverts going out and attempting to molest children exposing themselves to women or men or anybody forcing themselves upon other people unwantedly while it isn't technically rape I believe it should be treated as such my son who committed suicide a few months ago was sexually molested most of his life I'm tired of these perverts getting away with things I'm tired of them being able to continue on with the sick behavior that the society is ena enabling them to do If you have a problem and you feel like you need to go and do this in public to innocent people go get some help go talk to somebody about it why do we have to have our children hurt why do we have to have people like this able to walk free for so long hurting others along the way I don't think I'm ever going to get over my son's suicide the people who did that to him who raped him put dog collars around his neck and shocked him 
I'm never going to be able to get over that hurt. I'm never going to be able to assuade myself of the guilt for not being there to protect him. Yet these people still walk free. They are free to continue on with the sick behavior that drove a kid to his grave. This man won't. He was finally caught. Whether he'll be prosecuted or not is another story altogether. But according to the Bullhead City PD, he will be charged with at least one felony. That's exposing himself to a minor. When are we going to stand up as a society and say enough is enough? And not allow this kind of behavior to continue? What two consenting adults do behind their own bedrooms door, behind their own doors, is one thing. But when perverts like this are loose and start attacking our children, that becomes a complete other. What are you going to do to help stop this problem?